of the River State Governor, Nelson Mwike, elders and youth from the Niger State have distanced themselves from the declaration of Biafra by S. Agitator Asiri Dukubo. Hello guys, you are welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for let's stopping by. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. Now the news reads in detail. Niger Delta Youth elders reject Togubo's Biafra. The federal government described Togubo's formation of Biafra customary government as a theater of the absorbed by a joker seeking attention. Speaking with the news agency of the Nigeria of Nigeria on the development in Lagos yesterday, the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaj La Mohammed, said President Muhammad Buhari's administration will not be distracted by the absurdity. I am sure you have heard of the theater of the absorbed that is the best way i can describe it if asiri dokubo wants to form and run a phantom government i think he is free to do so this administration will not be distracted because we still have a lot to do we are not ready to give any attention or time to a joker like dokubo who is just looking for attention the convener IPC Livingstone, where she said, for the records, Ikwere is an independent ethnic nation in Nigeria with a global spread and Ikwere are not servants to any other ethnic bloc whatsoever and other any guys. This is in respecting the status of Ikwere as one of the largest largest ethnic nationalities in Nigeria on record. Therefore, Ikwere People's Congress is right along with other credible sociocultural organizations in Ikwere Nation are not are the only bodies with the legitimate authority to make representations and speak on the behalf of the Ikwere Nation and our people on issues that affect our interests. On this note, we stand categorically that although Assyri forebearers own their ancestry to Ikwere Nation and whereas Assyri is a Niger Delta son with his fundamental right to his identity and affinities, he does not have the right, authority, permission, or legitimacy to speak on the behalf of the Ikwere Nation or to speak solely for the Niger Delta under any guise, either by himself or through his cronies or agents. No doubt we have disputation and aspirations in pursuit of the respect and demand for self-determination over our lands and resources, including political rights as a people in the lower Niger and the Niger Delta in particular, which aspirations we share with our neighbors and ethnic counterparts. No position, negotiation, or consultations will be made over the query nation without our voluntary consent and mandate. The query is too big for the foreplay, and this is terrorite knowledge. This view is scaled and undoubtedly includes the rest of the Niger Delta because nobody, including Asiri Dokubo, can impose his personal will or agenda or any ethnic bloc in our region. Therefore, we ask that the query nation be left out of As Asiri Dokubo's Biafra government. Also, the South South Elders Forum, SEF, said the zone believed in one Nigeria I will not be part of Asiru's Biafra. His coordinator, Sarah Igbe, said the Niger Delta, including the Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF, we are not part of any secessionist agenda. Igbe, which is a member of the board of the trustees, PANDEF, said 
they were only agitating for restructuring to ensure a true federalism that would allow each region to control its resources. He said Asiri has the right to his opinion, but so far, as I know, the South South region believes in Nigeria. We believe in one Nigeria, and we don't think we should talk of Biafra, despite all the injustice against the former Eastern region. We are talking about restructuring the South South and Pandev and the elders forum believe in the restructuring of this country in such a manner that every part of the country will be committed to the development of the country that is where we stand we don't believe in backing from breaking from nigeria we shall go to the 1960 constitution where we had our resources and we could talk of true federalism. That is what we are interested in. We are not interested in anything less. We need true federalism as applied in the United States of America and other democratic society. Also, the Ibibo Youth Council, IYC, the youth wing of the largest ethnic group in Akwaibom, has said no part of the state will ever belong to Biafra. The president of the I IYC, Mr. Imo Okoko, declared as unfortunate and misguided the statement credited to Dokubo that Akwaibom was a Biafra entity. He said historically record did not think any ethnic group, namely Ibibo, and Oru to Biafra, and that the state will resist any attempt to uh, be any part of Akwaibom to Biafra. He said, "We have not, we are not part of Biafra, and we will never be. Anybody is free to declare Biafra Republic, but in Akwaibom, are not. We are not part of it. But I must advise that no matter how bad the country is." It is not right to declare a Biafra Republic. We will not support the cause of Biafra. I want to state very clearly and assuredly that the Biafra dream will never be actualized. It is not possible, he said. So, hello, guys. <laughs> What's your view on this? Someone just said, yeah, I have heard this talk before. Asiri is more planned than these people in all ramifications. Nigeria in the morning, but Biafra at night. So, hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your view on this? Kindly leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much once again. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.